probably heard the expression Father Abraham before. The reason Christians use that expression because, is because Abraham is our father in faith. The Catechism of the Catholic Church actually describes him as both the father and the model of Christian faith. And yet Abraham lived in the time of the Old Testament. How can Abraham be the father of our faith as Christians when he lived before the New Covenant was even established? In this Bible study, I try to show why we call Abraham our father in faith by taking you on a journey through Abraham's own life of faith, through the stages of his spiritual development that reveal that he went through what all of us have to go through in our spiritual life. Detachment from the things of this world, dark nights of the soul and the spirit, and ultimately a willing to sacrifice everything out of the love of God. So in this Bible study, what we're going to do is we're going to take the traditional Christian teaching on the three stages of the spiritual life. These are known as the purgative way or the stage of spiritual childhood, the illuminative way or the stage of spiritual adolescence, and then the unitive way or the state of spiritual adulthood. And we're going to show you how Abraham himself had to grow in his faith. He had to journey through these stages of spiritual growth. He made mistakes. He committed sins, he fell, but then he got back up. And because of his faith, he ultimately went all the way to the mountain of Moriah and was willing to sacrifice his only beloved son out of obedience to his God. And in doing so, in that obedience, he becomes the father of our faith. And he also, as you'll see, becomes a kind of enacted prophecy of what the father in heaven is going to do on another mountain, the mountain of Calvary, 2,000 years later. So if you've ever wanted to understand the life of Abraham or understand what it means to have faith, this is a perfect Bible study to help you make progress in your journey in the spiritual life.